Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to SESP Online Education. As of this time, we will be not meeting on the classroom, but we will be meeting here through the website because of the COVID situation. But hoping to see you soon as long as the COVID situation is gone. So, I am teaching you M3 Math MLP. And my name is Master Dan. I know some of you already know me because you are my students. Some of you are my students uh, during M2. And now, welcome to M3. Okay, so chapter 1, we will be studying about factorization of polynomials. So, you will practice the steps in factorization of polynomials. But before we will go to factorization, we will go to polynomials. So, first polynomial. What is polynomial? I know some of you students already know what is polynomials and some maybe already forget. So, we will recall. A function px of the form px, a to the n, x to the n, and this one are numbers. Okay. So, a n minus 1, x to the n minus 1, a n minus 2, x n minus 2, plus a n to the minus 3, minus 4, or until what number you can have, until you will come up to a n, a, a 1, x, plus a 0. So, this is a old polynomial, where, always remember, a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 3, a n minus 4, a 1, a 0 are real numbers. Then, where n is a non-negative integer. So, you know, the, there are two types of integers, the positive and the negative, where n is none. So, that means not a negative integers. So, e n plus a n minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 3, a n minus 4, plus a 1, plus a 0 are called coefficient of the polynomial. So, that is the general form of the polynomials. Always remember, a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2 are real numbers. And they are the coefficients of the polynomial. So we have here, e n. So this is the coefficient. So we have x n, x minus 1. These are the coefficients, the numbers d4 x. Okay. So next, we will have specific names of polynomials. Some of you already know what are the specific names of polynomials. We will recall. 5 x. 5 x a polynomial? Yes, this is a polynomial. And I will ask you, how many terms is this? We have only one term. So we have one term. Then one term polynomial, we call this one a monomial. And the word mono. Mono means single or one term. Okay, so this is a monomial. Next, we have 2x plus 4. When you look at 2x, this is one term separated by the plus 4. So, 2x can be separated by plus or minus. So, we have here 2x plus 4. So, 2x is one term. 4 is another term. So, you know, I will ask you, how many terms you have? We have two terms. So, we have two terms polynomial. So, what do you think is the name of the polynomial? Two terms. Mono for one term. How about two terms? Two terms polynomial, we call that one binomial. From the word bi. When you talk about bicycle, that means two wheel. Okay? Bicycle. So, we have two terms polynomial. We call that binomial. Monomial for one term. Binomial for two terms. X. You will have this one. 2X plus dy minus 5. 
So when you look at this one, we have 2x, one term, separated by plus. 3y is another term. Then you will again another separation by minus 5. So we have 2x plus 3y minus 5 is how many terms? We have three terms polynomial. Then, do you recall what is the name of the three terms polynomial? Okay. Three terms polynomial are called trinomial. Okay. Trinomial. For example, we are talking about tricycle. Tricycle are three wheel car. Okay, so we have trinomial from the word trinomial. So again, mono for one term polynomial, by binomial for two terms polynomial, trinomial for three terms polynomial. Next, we have here 7x squared minus 3x. Minus 5x plus 2. Okay, 7x squared is one term. Minus 3x minus 5y plus 2. So when we have 7x squared, we have one term. 3x is another term. Minus 5y. So we have here another term. Plus 2, we have another term. So when you look at this one, how many terms? One term, two terms, three terms four terms. So we have here four terms polynomial. So we call this one polynomial. That means multiple. We have many. Okay. So we have multiple polynomials. So four terms or more. So we can have five terms, six terms, seven terms, or many more. We call this one polynomial. But I will ask you, can we call 5x as a polynomial or 2x plus 4 as polynomial or this another this trinomial can we call this one polynomial yes we can call them all a polynomial because this is the name given to all kinds of polynomial we just we are just specific for this time mono for one by for two tri trinomial for three so being specific is that we call this one monomial, binomial, trinomial. But everything here is we call polynomial. Okay, next, we have an example. x squared plus 2x plus 5. So we call this one a polynomial. Do you know what is the specific term of this polynomial? x squared plus 2x plus 5. Okay. Again, the specific terms, because we have how many terms? Three terms. So the specific name is, we call this one trinomial. Okay. It's a polynomial over integer, because the coefficients 1, 2, 5 are integers. So we have, oh, you will ask me, where is 1, master? Okay. X squared, we just have, don't need to write 1, right? You don't have to write 1x squared. When we have write x squared, that means the coefficient here is 1. So we have 1, 2x. The coefficient of 2x is 2 plus 5. So we have coefficient 5. They are all integers. So therefore, they are all polynomials. x. 3 over 2. x squared plus 6x minus 3. So we have here is another polynomial over rational as coefficient. So the number 3 over 2 is the coefficient. The 3 over 2 is the coefficient. 6 is another coefficient. And minus 3 is a coefficient. But they are all rational numbers. So again, this is a polynomial over rational numbers. Next, 5x squared minus root 2 or square root of 2 x plus square root of 3. So when you look at this one, what is the coefficient of this one? 5x squared. What is the coefficient of 5x squared? Okay. The coefficient of 5x squared is 5. How about this one? The second term. What is the coefficient? Okay. The negative square root of 2. Next third is 
square root of 3. So we have here, it's a polynomial over reals because the coefficients 5, square root of 2, and square root of 3 are real numbers. So they are all real numbers. So again, these are polynomials. Next, we have another example. But this time, the example is about following are not polynomial. So this one, example 1, 2, 3 is the example of polynomials. But this time is not. That means they are not polynomials. So we have this one. 1 over x. 1 over x is not polynomial. Why? Can you guess it? Okay. Since x is negative, power is negative 1. Since power of x is negative 1. Why? Because if you rewrite this one, we have here 1 over x is equal to x to the power of negative 1. Do you remember the last phase that said non negative integers? n cannot be a negative integer. So the power negative 1 is not a polynomial because of, again, the power is negative, non negative integers. Next, x squared plus x plus 3 over x. Again, these e are not polynomials. What is the coefficient here? Okay, so we have 1, 1, but this one is 3. But can you rewrite this one, 3x, not in a fractional form? How? Okay, we will have p x to the power of negative 1. Since the power of x is negative 1. Again, we have here 3x to the power of negative 1. Again, polynomials is non-negative integer. So again, the power or the exponent. Power exponent is not a negative number. Next, we have here the square root of x plus 6. Again, these are not polynomials. Why? Square root of x plus 6. Okay. Can you rewrite the square root of x? Change this one into exponential form. How can you rewrite? Okay. x to the power of 1 over 2. Again, polynomials cannot have a exponential power. I mean, fractional power. So, the exponent cannot be a fraction. Okay. Next is the standard form of polynomials. Okay, what are the standard form of polynomials? First, we have this one. For this example, 2 plus 3x minus 4x squared plus 5x cubed. When you look at this one, what you notice? 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have the x's. x, what is the value of this exponent? In the x, 1. How about this one? Exponent is 2. The other is 3. So therefore, when you look at this example, this standard form is a standard form written in ascending power of x. That means the exponent is in ascending order. That means from small to big or from low to high ascending power of x. So, next is next example is 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. When you look at the example from example 1, we have here 2, we have the same here, 2, 3x, we have 3x, we have 4x squared, we have 4x squared, we have 5x cubed, and the other we have also 5x cubed. But when you look at the exponents, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So that means we have here also the standard form written in descending power of x. Okay, descending power or descending exponents. We are talking about exponents 
in writing the standard form of the polynomial. That means from you can have from small to big exponent from 0, 1, 2, 3, or from bigger to lower. You have 3, 2, 1, 0. Actually, these two are the same. They are all standard form. But usually, we use like in Pratom 6, M1, M2, when you have start, started doing subjects in exponents, you use the descending from big to small exponents. So, again, these two are correct. But, we have to follow what we have learned already. We learned that we will use the sending power of so we have we'll use the second type of the exponent when we will write in standard form. So we have here for example write in standard form. So we have here a polynomial. Write this one in standard form. When you look at this one, 9 plus 7x to the power of 4 plus 3x minus 4x squared. Write this one in standard form. So again, look at the exponents. First, which has the highest value? Okay, the highest value is 4, 7x to the power of so that means write this one in standard form. You write first 7x4. Next. Okay, we have this one 4x squared. So next is this 4x squared. But always remember, bring also the sign. So this one is minus 4x squared. So you write minus 4 x squared. So we have finished with the first, the second. What is the third? Okay, next the third is 3x. And the sign of 3x is plus. So write plus 3x. And lastly, 9. So we have this one, 9. So this is the standard form written in descending power of x. The second example. 15x cubed minus 8 plus 2x minus 4x power 5 minus 13x squared. Next. So, what is the highest exponent? We have 3, 0, 1, 5, and 2. That means the highest is 4x to the power of 5. But again, remember the sign. Bring the sign. So therefore, you will write negative 4x to the power of 5. Next. Which is next? Next is, okay, 15x cubed. And the sign is, that means we don't have sign here. That means this is plus. Plus 15x cubed. Next. Okay, square. But. Always remember, bring the sign. Minus 13x squared. Next is plus 2x minus 3. So now you know how to write polynomials in standard form. Actually, this is very useful if you know how to write the standard form of the polynomial, especially on the next slide. Okay, we'll go to the next slide. Okay, the next slide is we are talking about degree of a polynomial. Degree of the polynomial. What is degree of the polynomial? It says the highest exponent in various terms of a polynomial. So we have here the highest exponent in various terms of a polynomial. So again, we will have here the standard form. 3x to the 7. Minus 12x to the 5 plus 2x plus 5. Now, what is the degree of this polynomial? You will ask, what is the degree of this polynomial? So when you look at this one again, the highest exponent. What is the highest exponent from this polynomial? 
Okay. Again, if you write it in standard form, that means this is the first term. So the first term is 3x to the 7. Therefore, that highest degree is 7. So therefore, the degree is 7. So we have the degree is 7. Next, have x to the power of 5 minus x to the 4 plus 6x cubed minus 4x plus 8. When you look at this one, again, this is in standard form. Check if this is in standard form. So that means this is in standard form. So again, what is the highest exponent? The highest exponent is 5. So therefore, the degree is 5. Okay? Okay? Okay, same easy. Next, 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x. Okay, this is a trinomial. And the highest degree is always the first if it is in standard form. So the first is 3. So therefore, the degree is 3. Next, 15x. What is the degree? 15x. Do you, have, do you see the exponents? No, but the degree is 1. Why? You don't have to write 15x to the power of 1. You leave it as blank. That means you understand this is 1. So the therefore, the degree is 1. How about this one? 18. 18. What is the degree? Can you guess? Okay. The degree is 0. Why? Because x to the 0 is equal to 1. That means 18 times 1 is equal to 18. So therefore, the degree is zero. Okay, that's all for today. Okay, before you will go everyone, don't forget to scan this one for your worksheets and also don't forget to subscribe, Master Dan. Okay, good luck.